done now setting up. So welcome everybody to Frostpunk 2, as you can clearly see in the bottom here. Hey, ah, no. Frostpunk 2 has been announced, and um, we're just, I've never played or even really watched a playthrough of Frostpunk, and um, and I wouldn't, I wasn't sure that I would ever would, but then uh, a friend of mine, uh, Veritas uh, is his name, he gifted it to me, and with all expansions, so mucho appreciado, and uh, now we will attempt to play through it here. Uh, I'm not sure if it is a good stream game, that will remain to be seen. We are going to probably just click a new home. We, we've got scenarios and endless mode, which sound cool, but let's let's explore the story in this playthrough. So this will be good for other players who don't know Frostpunk. If you're already a Frostpunk uh, specialist and expert, you can absolutely give me advice and critique and uh, maybe just enjoy this noob trying it out for the first time. When you promise something and then fail to deliver, your people will lose hope and their disc and their discontent will rise. All right. I wonder if you can have like rebellions. Yeah. I've been Frostpunk curious since it came out. I just thought it was a little bit expensive at the beginning, and I wasn't sure that it would be like it that it would live up to the expectations. And I've only heard good things about it, so. I would say that it has, and I'm glad that we are finally getting to we dive into open. the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of all. Strength, pride, and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or classes. They've lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. who remained came the time to an end. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Hell yeah. All right. That was badass. I So Frostpunk, it's kind of like steampunk, but with uh, in cold environment. I'm not sure if they use frost to power their engines. It's, it's not like that, but it's more like the, the steampunk feeling. And then the, the setting is this frozen world. It's kind of like living in Denmark. <laughs> not at all. And I'm, I'm happy that I'm sitting here with my hot coffee. I, it kind of make me want to put on a scarf or something, but no. I'm, it's nice and temperate in my room right now. Okay, I hate freezing, so poof. Let's fight the cold. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any one of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others? Are there any others out there? 
Whatever we do, we should expect worse, the worst now that the world, as we know it, has crumbled. We have to survive. Fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. Fight the coal. Stockpile some coal, turn the generator on. Alright. If I pause, we can click. Here, this seems fairly obvious. We got the standard box standard WASD, zoom, and Q and E to rotate, I would say zoom. Indeed. Yes, close. Okay. Alright. Got the little people down here. What do we have here? Tutorial summary. Ah, okay. Stockpile some coal. Wood, steel, coal. So one would assume that there's like coal around here somewhere. Steel wreckage. Coal deposit. Build a coal mine here to start extraction. Sounds like something I could do. Check. Resource gathering post. Uh, working here, gather resources from nearby coal piles, wood crates, and steel wreckage. All right. Building here will block place for an important facility not adjacent to street. Not adjacent to street. Right. So you gotta like build close to the streets, which is the build uh, system in this game. This much I know. Wood crates. Is there a coal anywhere else? There's coal down here. Just having a look around. So I was assuming that there would be another tutorial pop up here, but no. Alright. Book of Laws. Economy. Base heating level 1. So do you just like build it down here? Or could we build a street to get out there? I don't see a street building icon, book of laws, economy. Just, just check out the things. Aha, aha, aha. Call management. And in the book of laws, this is where we will make moral decisions and stuff like that later. I guess we haven't had anything to do in here yet. Okay, if I run it, what changes? Food rations, we don't have any, okay. <laughs> work time, people on normal work shifts go to work, okay. So we don't want to waste that opportunity, obviously. Let's try... I feel like it has to be built out here. Hold on. Uh, not there. Oh, that's a way to remove the snow. Here, I need to cover both of the coal deposits, obviously. I mean, it doesn't work that we put it in here. Obviously, it has to be put out here where it covers those two. There. So, are they gonna just walk out there? Oh, they are. Okay, they can get to it. Oh, jeez. When I was a young boy, we used to walk 30 miles through snow uphill just to get to school, and we liked it. <laughs> All right, Grandpa. So, at least they're sticking together. Oh, you can click on them. Not at, not at risk of falling ill. Ah, okay. Alone in this world. Damn. Biggest concern, lack of shelter, activity going to build. This is Aaron Monday. Uh, oh, this one has a family, children and a spouse. Spouse not working because no home. Hmm. Okay, and the children. Won't someone please think of the children? You're playing. Okay, children. You are children. Click to rename. Oh, we can rename people. Okay. 
What if I said this guy? This is very test. That's what you get for gifting me a game. Now you're in it. We'll see if he survives. You name old people. And they're building the gathering post. Okay. Well, so far so good. You can speed it up. Streets. Resource management is crucial to the city's survival. You need coal to power the generator. Wood and steel are necessary for construction and research. Steam cores are a key part of advanced buildings. Raw food is used to prepare food rations in the cookhouse. Later in the game, more resource types may appear. Very cool. Streets. All structures in the city must be connected to the generator of the streets. Okay, otherwise they won't function. To build a street, open the construction panel and click on the build street icon. Okay, maybe I overlooked it before. Uh, so, pause real quick here. Ah, it's here because it's such a basic thing. Okay. So, I don't think that there's necessarily anything that's better than another thing here. Let's build a straight street out to the gathering post. And they will build that. Probably could have optimized a bit by building the street first and then building the gathering post. But here we are. There. Good. An operative. Now my question is, is it connected by streets or do we need to like do this? I think so. Yes. Right. We want to... Can I... Uh, we have engineers available, workers. Let's go five of each. Workforce will gather coal. Okay. Mildred, select you. You are class engineer. I would like to know what that means. Are you better at working here? Doesn't have any shelter. Could I build shelter? If we could, then I don't see why we wouldn't jump on that immediately. We are out of wood. That would be why. Okay. Uh, stockpile some coal. Turn the generator on. Okay. There is wood right here, but I cannot afford another gathering post. Is that right? Because I have no, not enough wood. It even lights up at the top there. Okay. Hmm. Well, I did what the game told me to, so hopefully we'll be fine. I wish I could zoom in a little bit more, but let's just speed up here. Go we'll gather me some coal. Stuff happened. Night is coming. The generator... Uh, controlling time. Let's see if there's any gold nuggets here. I don't think so. You can pause the game by pressing the space bar. Very nice. Yep. Use the construction menu at the bottom. Do. Only people who are not currently work at work can build structures. Okay. Buildings inside the heat zone are warmer and provide better living and work conditions. To make the best use of the heat zone, buildings are placed on a radial grid. Makes sense. All buildings must be connected to the generator by a street in order to function. Valid placement, invalid, and conditional. Okay. Generator. The generator is the heart of the city and the only source of heat in this frozen hole. You should turn it on as soon as you stockpile enough coal. Sounds good. The generator heats a circular zone around it, consuming at least six units of coal per hour. You can research generator upgrades that raise the heat output, expand the heat zone, and reduce coal usage. I'm all about that optimization, so that sounds good to me. We're at 67 right now. I think we gotta complete this first goal ASAP. 
What is happening here? Housing problem. No roof over our heads. Captain, people are underst understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold. We'd better do something about it. This is what they meant. I can promise them various things here. But if we don't deliver, it'll cause problems. So I'll provide some shelter. You'll have two days to provide shelter for 40 people. Or we can go for the bigger one and say I'll provide shelter for everyone. For 80 people. And I cannot dismiss this right now to see what a building costs or something. So I won't promise too much. I'll provide some shelter. Right? That gave me a new quest. Okay, provide shelter for at least half your citizens. This is a stockpiles building. Okay, ah. 240 per day, so you would think that we can... They have free time right now? Hmm. Okay. Who gave you free time? What do we have here? A word of advice. The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problems your way, that's fine. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. Uh-huh. How do we get wood? That would be my question. I only have two days. Can I, like, uh, click the wood here and just say, Ah, look at this. I can just send them out here to go get the wood. And it's fairly close. I'm sure they'll be fine. Yeah, we might as well utilize the entire workforce, right? So, this is also wood. I understand. We could also assign them directly to the coal pile, but I'm sure that the gathering post would be better. They can even live in this building. It's livable conditions. Okay. Can we see, like, the... It's inoperative, so of course there's no heating right now. Right. Discontent. Lack of shelter. Here. Uh, very low risk of falling ill. Okay, we still have 15 available in the workforce. So I'm thinking we should send some more people out, maybe to this stockpile here. Max, that. Okay. So we're falling a little bit behind by not having employed the entire workforce in the first night. First day. Got a question here? The generator. The heating is off. The generator's off. People are afraid they'll freeze to death in their sleep if you don't at least turn it on for the night. Okay, I guess... Guess we gotta do it. Which I was thinking about doing anyway, but I thought maybe we could get away with not doing it. Steam level 1. You need 6 coal to turn it on. Uh, this, steam, this steam level on. Plus 1 temperature in all heat zones. 100% coal consumption. And then it goes up. Okay. There we go. Very low risk of falling in ill. They all have that, but apparently we can't combat it further. This looks honestly kind of cozy. Hey, cozy. Now I'm burning the coal that I needed for my quest, you know, so... It's a minus... 20... Uh, 20 Celsius, that's, uh, that's pretty rough. I don't think I've ever experienced that kind of temperature in real life. It's livable in right here, though. Comfortable right next to here. Oh, we got a thing. Temperature. The temperature inside a building depends on the power setting of the generator. If the building is in a heat zone, that building's insulation and the conditions outside, uh, there are six temperature levels. Comfortable, livable, chilly, cold, very cold, and freezing. 
Keeping homes and workplaces as warm as possible helps pe prevent people from falling ill. Some workplaces might become inoperative if the temperature falls too low. And then on that note, illness and healthcare. Cold homes or workplaces cause people to get sick. Without proper care, they can become gravely ill and might die. The sick can be treated in a medical post, but the gravely ill needs an infirmity to be treated. Makes sense. Okay, so you need to step it up if they're already sick. Uh, until you build one, you can save their lives by signing one of two laws. The radical treatment law allows you to treat gravely ill in medical posts, but some of them ill will lift as amputees. Okay, that's better than nothing. Rather amputee than dead. Uh, and the sustained life al law allows you to keep the gravely ill alive, but untreated in medical posts <clears throat> or care houses indefinitely, so that you can build the the next layer of uh, the infirmary later and then cure them. So you're trying not to amputate people and say, wait, we have, we're coming up with a better treatment. And we already have one sick person, of course. Fantastic. All right. I wonder how hard I'm going to get punished for not collecting wood on the first day. This is looking bad. Like we're running out of coal. People are falling sick. Went down. Oh, I. Oh, I can uh, speed up. Okay. At least we're alive. Sometimes I wonder what the purpose of our struggle is, says Robert. Okay. Let's grab you, Harold Townsend. You are. Co shade. We're in it now, folks. What do we have here? Word of advice. Critical shortage. The number of sick is rising and we don't have enough materials to build a medical post. Perhaps a short burst of effort could help us gather the necessary resources. So we can open the book of laws. Child labor. Emergency shifts. Sometimes we have to concentrate on the task at hand at the cost of everything else or die. After introducing this law, another one can be passed after eight, 18 hours. New ability, you can force workers in a facility to work for the next 24 hours. Oof. And using the emergency ship will raise discontent. You survived Armageddon. But to what end? Yes. <laughs> yeah, child labor. Uh, I, I guess in this world we need to think about it a bit differently. You're right. I, I like the idea of the emergency shift. We could definitely use that right now. So, emergency shift. And I would say the same for the wood crates over here. Please start working now. Oh, and this contestant is rising. Yes, we will work on that. This facility... Okay. We got a new tutorial pop-up. Day-night cycle. The city wakes up at 6 p.m. a.m. whatever. Uh... People have some free time until the work shift starts at 8, unless there's construction to work, work to do. After they finish the shift at 18, they are free to help with construction again, which can be keep them up past midnight. You can extend the 10-hour work shift if you sign certain laws. Okay. You, lo you unlocked a new building ability, right, because uh, the emergency shift, we already used it. Each has a cooldown, fair enough. Hope and discontent might be important. Hope and discontent levels are crucial for the social stability of the city. There are many factors that can affect them. The most important are people's needs, buildings, laws, and abilities. I, I kind of want, I'm looking for um, consequences. Hope and discontent also change due to random events and the death of your people. Okay, because it's, it's not looking good, <laughs> but hopefully we can salvage that, right? So now they should get to work. Get to work. And I am tempted to shut down the generator just a little bit. Since people won't be home all that much right now. A wizard is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Well, you didn't last for long, eh, Co <laughs> Welcome. Oh, we can we can rename another citizen. Yeah, you could be Margaret, why not? This is not Margaret, but Cole. 
There you go. You are now in the apocalypse. Feeling a bit tired today, so I'm gonna rest it off. That's fine. Now I'm sending you to an emergency work shift here, though, but uh, you can you can pretend like you're resting. You can just sleep on the job like everyone else. Why are you not working? Oh, because you're an engineer. Oh, well, that's not good enough. Send the engineers out here. We now have a bit of wood stored up, so... Medical post would be nice. Cookhouse, hunter's hut, resources, tech. Treats the most common ailments. I feel like I should get a... Uh, before tents, yes, because tent won't cover everyone, but here we can treat those that are already sick, which seems more important. Let me just build you right there. One of your people died. On day two, one died. Uh, in a work accident. Okay, that, that's hard to combat. Lester Greenfield worker. Jesus. Death of overwork. Emergency shift. One of our people died suddenly during an emergency shift. We don't know what happened, but it's likely it was a heart attack. And then we can give them the rest of the day off. All emergency shifts currently in progress will end. Hope will rise slightly. No, we must make sacrifices to survive. First death. One of our people has just died. Sickness, accidents, and deadly cold will keep claiming lives in this harsh world. We need a way to dispose of the body. People can take care of it now. Let's open the, the Book of Laws. Oh, we can't sign a new law right now. Great. Okay, I feel like I'm bombing this playthrough so hard. <laughs> oh, reduce silver, welcome to the fight. Andrew Lua Leon, your name is Silver. That's what you get for your comment. M. Cole died. No, no, M. Cole is fine. If this were Rimworld, I would say cannibalism. Uh, maybe that's an option. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. You can play a similar, similar, you know, kind of challenge in, in Rimbo. That could be kind of fun, like in a, an extreme ice environment. This is terrible. Look at these guys. I'm sending them out there to their death. Yeah. 